I, if I, there have been a few more people here. Some people were out that I, 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 I didn't know what happened to. I wanted them to be here. There were some visitors that I was hoping would come. I could have enjoyed it more, but I enjoyed the, the fellowship. I looked around this morning and, and most, of, most of our church family was here and everybody seemed like they were in fellowship with God. And it, it, you know, I just enjoyed that service so much this morning. But we can use revival. This country needs revival. This church needs revival. This pastor needs revival. Let me give you the last letter. The L stands for live. Isaiah the 57th chapter verse 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place which with him also that is of a con I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and revive the heart of the contrite ones. L stands, I'm going to let it stand for living an humble life. And I believe humility means we don't have any pride between us and God. And I believe humility means obedience. You see, that's what it comes down to, isn't it? God wants His people to obey Him. That's what, that's what Mount Sinai was all about. When God took the children of Israel to Mount Sinai to make a covenant with them, He said, I'll be your God if you'll be my people. He said, I will save you. I will fight your battles. I will bless you if you will obey me. Jesus said it the same way. If you love me, keep my commandments. Revival. If we're going to have revival, we must rejoice. We must endure sound doctrine. We must voice our faith. We must implement the old paths. We must value God's presence. We must not miss the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. We must live an humble life. America. America needs revival. Churches need revival. People need revival. Zedekiah needed revival. I see so many people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the greatest preacher in the world. I'm not the greatest Christian in the world. But I'm a pastor. see people hurting themselves and hurting their families for generations to come. Just like Zedekiah. Because they won't listen to God's word. Revival. Lord, revive us. Let's pray.